Ireland's a great country. We have green fields and friendly faces and diddly idle music and our unemployment rate is the lowest it's been in years. But there's a problem. Seems everyone and their granny feels they have to move to or commute to Dublin to get a decent job these days. Once upon a time, the population was fairly evenly spread throughout the country, but gradually we stopped being farmers and became factory and office workers, and more and more of us ended up living in cities. Now, 40% of the Irish population lives in the greater Dublin area. And you might think, sure, what's the harm? Dublin's a great city, and sure if less people are living in Kerry these days, it must be a lovely place for a nice, quiet walk. Well, here's the problem. Housing prices in Dublin are at an all-time high, and almost zero social housing has been built in the last 10 years, so only the increasingly lucky, privileged, or ridiculously hardworking can afford a nice place to live in the city. If that's not you, you're probably one of the now thousands of homeless people living in Dublin or one of the hundreds of thousands who have to commute long distances to work every day because housing options are severely limited. And then you end up spending most of what you earn at work to pay for the subpar accommodation you do have and you're left feeling a little like this. Or you might still be living somewhere in rural Ireland, which is nice because you get to wake up to views like this every day. But you notice that you're one of the few people who have stuck around and there aren't a lot of jobs to be had nearby. I've only gone and made you feel all depressed now, haven't I? Sorry about that. Here's the part where you start to feel better because I'm gonna tell you about something that happened down in Tralee a couple of weeks ago. Something that might just be the solution to all those aforementioned issues. What happened was an event called Grow Remote, the first ever remote working conference in Ireland. And if you don't know what remote working is, it's basically doing the same type of work you do in an office, but without the office. Instead, you do the work on your laptop at home from a local co-working space or really anywhere you have an internet connection. And that might sound a bit mad, but consider these five things. First, there are already an estimated 216,000 remote workers in Ireland. These are people working via their laptops from home or from co-working spaces all around the country, often in smaller towns and villages where the cost of living is much lower. And they're doing all kinds of work, from admin to marketing to finance to tech to HR. Name a typical office job and there's a good chance you'll find someone already doing it remotely in Ireland. Second, one study found that remote workers are 13.5% more productive than their in-office colleagues, and another showed that 82% of remote workers reported lower stress levels. Third, 78% of businesses in Ireland already have some kind of a remote working policy in place. Fourth, big companies like Shopify, Vodafone, Microsoft, and Teamwork.com were all represented at that conference in Tralee. Shopify now has employees working in all 26 counties in the Republic of Ireland. A quarter of Teamworks employees work remotely, and Dell, the big US computer company, they're aiming to have 50% of the workforce working remotely by 2020. And fifth, you might ask, why are all these companies pushing remote work? Well, it's because it's good for business. Remote employees are happier, they're more productive, and they save more of what they earn. And the company also saves money because they don't have to worry about things like office space or on-site insurance for remote employees. Cisco, another US tech company, they apparently save $277 million a year through remote working. Plus, when companies hire remote, they have access to a much bigger talent pool because they're not just limited to hiring whoever lives within commuting distance. Some companies have found remote working so beneficial that they've gone all in. Software startup InVision, for example, they have no office space. All 700 people in the company work remotely. So remote work is good for companies, it's good for workers, especially those who rather not move to Dublin and pay extortionate rent prices, and it's good for rural 
Ireland. No longer do we have to move to the big city, away from family and friends, or travel an hour or more each day to be at a specific building at a specific time just to earn a living. With remote work, you can stay put in your hometown or village, you can be part of the local community, you can have a flexible schedule, and still do work you enjoy and get well paid for it. And that's what the Grow Remote Conference was all about. And that's what the ongoing Grow Remote movement is all about. And if you like the sound of that and you want to learn more, whether you're a company, a co-working space, a community leader, or someone who'd love to work remotely yourself, there are two things you can do. First, check out growremote.ie and a few more links in the description. There you're gonna find loads of helpful information for workers, for companies, and for communities interested in remote work. Second, do us a favor and share this video or at least send it to one person you know who might be interested. Getting more people and companies working remotely has the potential to make a massive positive impact in Ireland. But unfortunately, most people still don't know this is even an option. We need to raise awareness about both the benefits and the opportunities of working remotely in Ireland, and we need your help to do that. So please go ahead and share this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.